good morning students of class 4 students i'm sure all of you are happy and healthy students in my last video i had completed exercise 3 and started with exercise 4 of unit 18 simple past tense of your english grammar book and children today i'm going to continue with the remaining sentences of exercise 4 so all of you please take out your english grammar book and turn to page number 73 children please take out your english grammar book turn to page number 73 exercise 4 of unit 18 simple past tense children exercise 4 is make these sentences negative and before i continue with the third sentence because i had explained and written the first two sentences of exercise 4 in my last video now today i'm going to continue with the third sentence but before i continue let's revise the rule for framing interrogative sentences in simple past tense now in simple past tense while framing interrogative sentence the first thing to be kept in mind is that we always begin our question with did interrogative sentences means the questions and we need to begin all our questions with did and then we need to keep in mind that the verb always remain in its root form in the interrogative sentence teen cheeze yaad rakhni hai question always begins with did in simple past tense second the verb remains in the root form in interrogative sentence and third is because it's a question we need to put a question mark at the end so if you keep this in mind you will be able to solve this exercise easily so we had done the first and second sentence in the last video so now i'm going to start with the third sentence and children the third sentence is he spoke very confidently now what do we need to do the first thing first thing we need to identify and underline the word because we need to keep in mind that it is the word which is in past tense so we need to change this sentence into a question in past tense so for that we need to bring back the verb to its root form an interrogative sentence means question so we will begin our question with did h of he will become small because it's not a proper noun so did he and spoke's root form is speak so did he speak very confidently and at the end you'll put a question mark clear so our question will be did he speak very confidently then the fourth one you bought a new laptop so what do we need to do first of all identify and underline the word because we need to bring the word back to its root form in interrogative sentence and in simple past tense we begin our question with did so did you the root form of bought is buy and for this we need to be thorough with the root forms and the past form so did you buy a new laptop and at the end we are going to put a question mark now the fifth sentence and the fifth sentence is the boys lost their way now the verb is lost underline it and the question is did we we'll begin our question with did t of the will become small did the boys 
and the so the first form that is the root form of lost is lose so did the boys lose their way and at the end put a question mark so things to be kept in mind while framing interrogative sentence in simple past tense always begin your question with did bring back the verb to its root form and put a question mark at the end so if you remember this you'll not make any mistakes yeah identify and underline the verb because the verb has to be brought back to its root form <clears throat> now the sixth one my sister attended a party so first of all identify and underline the verb the action word is attended which is in past tense so we need to change it into a question in past tense so we will begin our question with did my sister root form of attended is attend a party and at the end question mark clear so begin your question with did bring back the verb to its root form and at the end of the interrogative sentence you must put a question mark fine so i hope all of you have done these six sentences so now i'm going to erase these four sentences and write the seventh one clear so things to be kept in mind while framing interrogative sentences and simple past tenses always begin your question with did underline the word bring back the verb to its root form and at the end question mark now the seventh one i ate a bowl of oats and one banana so first of all identify and underline the word the word is eat and the root form of eat is eat and question now you all need to keep in mind that we'll begin our question in past tense with did now i is the subject and i always is written in capital letters whether you begin a sentence or you end a sentence so did i eat ye dhyan mein rakhna hai i ho proper noun ho to wo did ke baad hamesha capital hi hoga clear so did i eat a bowl of oats and one banana and at the end question mark so now the eighth one mrs anita dot as english now we we'll begin our question with did we'll identify and underline the verb in the sentence because we need to keep in mind that the verb always remain in its root form in interrogative sentence so did now mrs anita proper noun so m of mrs will be capital and a of anita will also be capital So did Mrs. Anita? The root form of taught is teach. Did Mrs. Anita teach a 
as English and at the end put a question mark. Fine? Now the ninth one. She found a gold coin in the cave. Now first thing, what are you supposed to do? Identify and underline the word. Then begin your question with did because our verb is in the past tense. So did, S of she will become small because it's not a proper noun. So did she find a gold coin in the cave and at the end question mark. Things to be kept in mind. Begin your question with did. If it's not, if your subject is not a proper noun, write with small letter. Bring back the verb to its root form. Underline it so that you can revise it. And at the end, question mark. Now the tenth one. They play holy with natural colors. So, first thing is identify and underline the word and begin your question with did. P of they will become small. Word will remain in its root form. So, did they, the root form of played will be Play, did they play holy with natural colors and at the end question mark. Clear? So, did they play holy with natural colors? So, I hope now this is clear to you. That how to frame interrogative sentence in simple past tense. First thing you need to keep in mind that if your sentence is in simple past tense, you look at the verb because the verb is always in its past tense, in the past form, that is the second form in the past tense. And when you frame a question, you begin your question with did. Second thing to be kept in mind is that the verb always remain in its root form in interrogative sentence. And third is you always put a question mark at the end of the interrogative sentence. So with this, we have finished our exercise 4. Clear? And children always underline the verb because when you underline it, it will click that you need to bring back the verb to its root form. Now, so now I'm going to raise and I'm going to start with the fifth exercise of this unit. Exercise 5 is Describe how you spent your autumn break In simple past tense. Now, autumn break as per our calendar generally comes in the month of October. Fine. 
So that is the Dashera time. So we will write how we spent our autumn break. So let's start. I. The verb should be in the past tense. So I enjoy a lot during my autumn break. Now our verb is enjoy and we have written this in past form. I enjoyed a lot during my autumn break. Now we write I went Boca past form went. I went to see various Durga Pandals, alag -alag Durga Puja ke Pandals lagte hai autumn break, Dashera time mein. With my family. I brought bring capacitance brought. I brought a lot of goodies, goodies generally. Eatable stores, whatever things children like to collect. So I bought a lot of goodies from the shops near the pandals. Right? Then I also went to the Dashera ground to see the Ravan Vad. I also went to the Dashera ground to see the Ravan Vad by Lord Ram. Then it symbolized The victory of good over evil. Then it was a nice cracker show. It was a nice. Cracker show. I completed my projects and Helped my 
mother in the household chores household chores jo ghar ke kaam kaaj hote hain chuttiyon mein sare bachche apne mother ko help karte hain na so with this student we have finished our exercise 5 the last exercise of unit 18 simple past tense fine and you can see that all the verbs are in the past form clear so that's all for today children with this i end my today's video that's all for today thank you children have a good day ahead